Hi, Peter Charles here, Hooked for Life, fly fishing. And today we're going to tie an old Atlantic salmon pattern called the Hairy Mary. <laughs> I know, weird name. Uh, it's a very simple pattern, like some of the others I've been doing. I'm starting off with the simple ones. We'll move to more complicated ones as we go. And I'm tying it today on a two inch uh, copper tube, which is uh, three thirty seconds of an inch in diameter. Try and say that fast. And uh, we'll look at the rest of the materials. We're using black Vivas uh, knot thread. We're going to be using black wool. And we're going to be using some flat gold uh, tinsel for both the tag and the rib. The rib is going to be uh, fox squirrel tail. This one's rather picked over. And the hackle is going to be uh, blue dyed guinea. So let's get started. As I usually do, I'm going to tie my materials on top. Now I'll keep pulling up so I can wind this back. Now stop it a little short, and if you want you can move your thread out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this back. If you, if you find it moving, just slide it into position and then come forward. Now unwind this and just trap that in place. Now come forward with your thread. I'm just going to start wrapping my wool. I'm going to make a tight turn at the back. And I'm going to come forward. Now, this pattern shows a fairly bulky um, black wool. I could have used mohair for this. What I can do is I'll, I'll make a, a pass down. And then I'll come back and make another pass. So we'll end up with three passes to bulk this up a little bit and make it a little fluffier. And just bring that down to about there. Wrap off. And now for the tinsel, for the rib, I should say. After binding that, I like to pull it up to the top. That way the tag gets buried under the wing. Clean that up. Now we're going to tie on two wings. One up, one down. Kind of a top wing and a bottom wing. I wouldn't go too gung-ho with the, the, the thickness of this wing. Now if you want, you can uh, stack this if you if you if you felt like it. There's no um, no rules here. 
I tend to like to leave them a bit ragged and I'll bring it back to sort of like the knurling here. You want it to go a little bit past the, um, the end of the tube. And then I'll just trim this off. Pinch loop it. Squirrel is slippery, so bind it tight. Now what some people like to do with squirrels is put a drop of CA glue in there. There's another way I've shown in other videos is you can slide um, a uh, wrap of thread in between the layers. That works too. Now the next, the one I'm putting underneath is not going to be quite as, as thick as the one on top. And the reason for that is you, if you're going to make a mistake uh, and not get them perfectly even, make the lower one smaller unless you don't care about the orientation. I do, so I'm going to just uh, thin this one out a little bit. There we go. Turn that upside down. Match the lengths. Make sure you're 180 degrees even. So you want this one to be 180 degrees opposite the one on top. So the bottom wing is directly beneath the top wing. Now just check your orientation. Looks good. And bind it down. Okay, there we go. You can see that design of a top and bottom wing. And uh, in some of the pictures I've seen of this, they, they've got them quite flared out, uh, and I don't particularly like that. I prefer to have these um, wings a little bit more laid down. Now we're going to put in our hackle, and as usual, I'm going to pinch the tip, pull back, and expose that. Now I'm going to cut it off so I get a tying in point. Now, as far as the amount of hackle is concerned, I'm going to go fairly uh, well dressed with this. So this is going to be a little heavier hackling than you might see in some pictures of this fly. Okay, now we'll start, we'll just fold that guinea hackle back. Pinch it, make it fold, and then begin to wrap. And keep pushing back so it goes, you don't trap any going forward. Now I'm going to just take a toothbrush and comb that out. And I'm just going to come fold these back and finish off my head. Just put a couple of loose wraps at the back and keep everything s swept backwards. And now we whip finish. Now for some a little uh, UV glue. And some top coat. There we go. The Harry Mary. Interesting looking pattern with this, you know, over-under type of wing. Reminds me of an over-under shotgun. And uh, you just add the, uh, the guinea to give it a little bit of color. What will happen when that guinea gets into the water, it'll tend to flare up a little bit and it will create turbulence which will kick the ends of the wings around and I think it'll be quite an effective pattern. No reason why this can't work for steelhead as well as Atlantic salmon. So give it a try, the Harry Mary. Cheers.